Hi everyone, I'm Madeline Warbury. I am 15th in the ninth grade. I am also in homeschool too. Um, I've been attending Calvary for about two years and I am one day closer to getting a passport, stamping my passport saying I have been to Paris, France. I'm very excited to be speaking today. Being anchored to God can be a struggle, but it's worth it. It's difficult to remember to talk to God every day with the busy schedule, but it's refreshing. Being real with God can be awkward, but you feel more connected to him. Staying up for what you believe in can be challenging, but you feel relieved for staying strong. Being still during the whirlwind of a day is a real struggle, but being close to God, being safe and secure on God Most High, hearing his gentle voice is worth it every day. To feel his peace wash over you, to hear his voice, his encouragement, is worth stopping your day and just being with him. Even when your heart is hurting or frustration is building up in your chest, just being with God makes all the difference. When we focus on our circumstances, we lose sight of God. He's a refreshing breath of life into our lives. He is there for us all the time. And that's why coming to him is even more special. He's perfect. It's not like he's dealing with crazy days, emotional breakdowns, and chocolate cravings. <laughs> he can handle our problems because he's 100% reliable. He is trustworthy and is our protection. And by knowing these truths, it gives us an anchor for our soul. It was last year at the youth group retreat at Eternal when I officially gave my heart to Christ. One night, I had a really cool encounter with God. The sermon had ended, and worship was starting again. Jordan invited us to come up to the front of the stage we wanted to. But I wasn't going to be first. I was going to let someone else go ahead. I will just tag along. But I felt God telling me, well, more like pushing me to go up to the front. I couldn't do that, not with all those people. But the more, but more I worried about it, the more I was convinced that God wanted me to go up. Now, in retrospect, this wasn't anything huge. But for me, it is. I'm not that type of person to jump out and do things like this. But he told me that if I didn't do this now, I would look back in life and regret not doing this, and I would miss what he had for me. Well, that got me going. Mustering all the courage I had, I walked down the aisle with what felt like every eye boring into the back of my head. I nailed them from the stage, shaking and my heart pounding, and I began just to worship my heart out. Next thing you knew, I had friends on either side of me, and when I finally looked up, almost everybody was out of their seat and kneeling before the Lord. I was amazed, shocked even, that I had been the first person out of my seat. Sometimes, sometimes drawing closer to God, you have to sacrifice something. I had to sacrifice my comfort zone and step out what God had for me. In the months that followed, I struggled with my faith. But because of that, I have never been closer to God. I can, he's done such cool things in my life and has pulled me from some, from some really rotten spots. I can feel a difference when I have spent time with God. It doesn't mean my life is perfect, but the constant love he's lavishing over me has changed everything and still is. To be anchored to God is to draw close to him. And to draw close to him is to be still. We have to live intentionally to be close to God. By living intentionally, we are anchored to God, and that makes all the difference in the world. Thank you.